Hey, hey, happy Friday, you guys. How are you? So I am back home in Nashville and I'm on my back deck because the children are inside. <laughs> so I'm out here with some birds and someone was just cutting their lawn and it just sounds so nice and here we are. How are you? How has your week been? It has been like, yes, awesome. And here we are Friday. Or are you just like, thank the good Lord that this week is over. Like put it in the history books. Don't ever open it again. Lock it up. Throw away the key. Has that kind of been your week? Kind of like my mug here. Look at this. Like really, I'm fine. <laughs> my aunt gave this to me many years ago. It's my most favorite mug ever. I love it. And guys, this has kind of been my week right here. Um, we got home from our vacation. And the very next morning, we had to take our sweet dog, Lily, uh, in to the pet hospital and actually have her put down. Uh, she was older, she was sick, but we did not anticipate having to say goodbye to her quite so soon. And she was just a really special part of our family. And if you've ever had to do that, you know how hard and devastating it is. So we have just uh, had a lot of tears and heartbreak this week and just kind of walking through that together as a family. And I'm just tired. Are you guys tired? <laughs> I'm tired, which is just life, you know, that's what happens. Just navigating lots of things and kids and even though they're out for the summer, they got things going on and, and, and work and, and laundry and groceries and all the people that live here. Guys, I have not even all week put eyeliner on. I'm like, yeah, it takes some energy, so no, not going to happen. <laughs> And sometimes life just throws us little curveballs that we don't see coming. And because, you know, that's so fun. And that kind of happened in my week, too. Um, I just, there were some words uh, spoken to me and about me this week that were very unkind. And that's okay and fair about a situation from a very, very long time ago. And um, those kind of things kind of kind of derail you a little bit, right? And sometimes you read some words and and with your mouth on the floor just going ah and just kind of feel completely crushed inside and and sometimes what someone's reality and truth is it looks very different from what we our reality and truth is right and don't we just want to defend ourselves and go i i didn't know any of that and i am so sorry that's not the truth i knew and and don't we just want to kind of go ah i'm not that person i promise and i wouldn't have made those decisions and you just don't know me and and stuff and then, as women, don't we just take it to a whole other level when someone just says something about us and then we totally continue it in our own minds and go, well, actually, they're right. I, I am not a good person. I'm a loser. I am, I am pathetic and I am stupid and I have made horrible choices. I should not even be here. I need to quit this show. I am a hypocrite. I am boom, 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 boom. And don't we just go on and on and on? with that and this minefield in our head. And my girlfriend, Debbie, she calls that postcard from hell. That's a postcard from hell. Those are lies from the devil and you need to stop it. And that's right. And at the same time, the truth is I am so imperfect and so flawed. And there have been things in my past that I have made bad decisions in and wrong things. And guys, I, I know we all have some sort of skeleton in our closets and I'm sure my closet's probably double wide. And I've walked through shame and guilt and failure and regret. All of that. I really have. But I do sit here because I also so very much know the grace and the mercy and the love and the truth of Jesus. It is the only reason I sit here. And I don't know where I would actually be without him. And I'm not talking like greasy grace, you know, when we're like, ah, oh, God will forgive me. I'll just do what I want. No, no, no. Like the actual genuine God, I... I am so sorry. <laughs> I don't want to be this person, and I don't know why I've done some of these things, but if you can somehow take this broken down Jesus girl and maybe redeem and restore, could you do that? And you guys, he does do that, and that is who he is. And we need to replace those postcards from hell, those <laughs> lies, with the truth of what he says. And he's like, you are mine. You're my kid. You're my girl. And I have chosen you. And I look at you and I see beauty. And I see my child. And I love you. And he can take the ashes and the dirt and the mess. And he makes it into this beautiful, fragrant garden of redemption and restoration. And I am so grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for this note this week was an 
it has also reminded me that we make an imprint on this world every single day. It is either good or it is bad, but we are making our mark all the time. We we may be hurting people unintentionally. We may be, you know, leaving um, uh, marks on people's hearts and we, we just don't even know. But every day, we are. And so I have wrestled and grappled. Is grappled a word? Grappled? Um, with this all week and, and just words and just kind of contemplating so very much. And God, just please guard my heart and my mind and my vision to just kind of just to see you and be the girl you want me to be. And... Um, when while going through all this, I was reading, you know, some of my favorite writers, and one of mine is Anne Voskamp, and she was one of our Women Crush Wednesday uh, gals here on See Here Love not long ago, and she just has this way of writing about Jesus and life and the heart in such a beautiful way. And I know I'm taking a lot of your time, but she wrote this like letter to ourselves, and I've read it at least 25 times this week, and it so helped my heart and grips me and can can I just read it for all of us and then can we like I'll put it up on social media and can we all print it off and keep it in our car and on our bathroom mirror and just like read it over and over again because here's the truth we are okay you're okay I'm okay and there is this wonderfully big God with just mighty beautiful loving hands holding our life and writing our stories and we can trust him so let me just read this for all of our hearts right now and it just says this dear you dear self and me and you and us really it's all going to be okay you're going to be okay promise remember when you were 16 with that ridiculous hair and how you'd thought that by the time you got to here to now it was going to be good that by now everything would be all good that by now you'd know down in the very marrow of your bones what it's like to really live loved, that you'd be known, fully known, and wholly embraced, that the big dream would have happened, that the peace and the purpose and the big point would be under your skin, that the awkward would be gone, and that you'd finally fit, and that your life made a real difference, you'd made a real mark, and that you really mattered. You don't have to worry. We all get to make one unforgettable mark, and every day, with every word, we get to decide, do we mar the world or mark the world? Why in the world disdain the small? It's always the smallest strokes that add up to the greatest masterpieces. Because the thing really is, do we ever really know which mark we make that will matter the most? The extraordinary things happen nowhere else but in the everyday, and today can always be the beginning. That card you signed and sealed and put in the mail, the way you smiled and nodded to the white-crowned woman bent over the still green bananas, the way you dug around in the dirt and left that seed or that gift of the knees and that prayer whispered for a stranger or that glass of water you handed to someone and winked because you just knew. You've got to remember, we don't know when and how we are leaving the greatest marks on the world. It all matters. Believe it. Every tremor of kindness might erupt in a miracle on the other side of the world. And the only way to ever leave beauty marks on the world is with bits of yourself and this will hurt things of realist beauty don't bring us glory but him glory dear you and self and me and us just for today take these words words of dag hammershold he's the secretary general of the united nations his words that you can take to the bank and take to eternity it is more noble to give yourself completely to one individual than to labor diligently for the masses Christ left the 99 for the one. Where you are with that one child, that one street, that one call, it is a noble Christ called thing. It only takes one person to change the world and one individual, one soul can be all your world. Really beautiful you. The most exquisite marks anyone makes with their life are the marks done in secret. The mark that no one but one will ever see. And tell yourself this when you feel forgotten and invisible and unimportant. So the celebrities get their celebration here, but the wise are the hidden who hold out for heaven and the applause that comes from God. This is to choose the far greater. I know you're brave and you're scared. 
because you keep doing big things that seem so small and you wonder where all this is really going and you only get one life here. And though you are weary, you do hard things and you keep getting out of bed and this is always the hardest part. And you keep believing that Christ didn't leave this world until he showed us his scars. And he won't ever let you leave this world until you leave your most beautiful mark to show him. So just for today, listen, you've got to keep going. His kingdom is upside down and in him your part is large and lovely and needed and art. So go get the milk and take out the trash and throw in the laundry and wave giddy to the neighbors because there is a plan and there is a purpose and there is a God in heaven who didn't just ink you onto the palm of his hands but etched your name right into himself with nails and he hasn't just got your number he's got your heart he sees you hidden in him and you aren't ever forgotten because God can't forget those right in him you've never missed the boat when you're holding on to the cross so really, you've got to believe it for your 16-year-old self and your 56-year-old self and for yourself right now. Really, it's all working out okay because God's writing your story and he never leaves you alone in your story and his perfect love absorbs all your fear and his perfect grace carries all your burdens and your story is a happily ever after because Christ bought your happily ever after so you always know how this story ends. You're going to be okay. Dear self, take this away to read again whenever you need to know it again. And promise me you'll laugh and sing and dance a bit today. Heaven and his kingdom and the feast is coming. So go ahead and pass down the fudge brownies. Love me. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm just going to go dance a little bit in the kitchen. You're okay, and I'm okay. Now let's go leave our marks on the world. Love you guys.